Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Janie Bloggins, and today I'm going to be reading from my Mermaid Tarot deck. Um, I can already feel like the energy swirling around me. It's a beautiful day. I woke up in such gratitude. I um, had made a logo for someone on good faith. They really wanted a logo, and they couldn't afford my prices up front. So they sent me some of the money and i started the logo and i did it in good faith you know just because this person always supports me online and i just you know i felt compelled to help this person and um so they sent me some of the money and then today was i was supposed to receive the rest of the money and um i woke up this morning at like 6 45 to a notification saying i got the money all right so whatever i went i did my minute put on my morning meditation um and then I went to go sit and I was just in such a state of gratitude. Like, wow, I woke up. I woke up to money. Like I woke up. First thing I saw, I woke up to a notification of money coming in. And it's been something that I've been working on, manifesting money, just coming in. And I said, thank you. And to the person. And he was like, what are you talking about? I, I haven't sent it yet. And I was just like why well, it must have been a dream or something because i literally got the notification this morning anyways so and you know his response was well that means that the universe is going to send you some money like i don't i don't even know what to tell you but either way i woke up in such a state of gratitude um you know I, i'm and i'm still grateful you know still grateful because it was just such a it was just like a good feeling like it was the feeling of it and i think the feeling of it is important All right. Sorry, I was getting a sip of my coffee there. So I'm going to start today before I start reading from my mermaid deck, which I absolutely love. It's my favorite deck. I feel like it's such a gentle deck. But anyways, I feel compelled to real read Psalm 23. I've really been into Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. Like Psalm 91 and Psalm 23 have been my favorite Psalms since I could remember, since I was a child, especially Psalm 91. Like my parents literally engraved Psalm 91 into my head. But today we're going to read Psalm 90, 23. Almost said 93, so I'll be looking that one up later. So, and Psalm 23 goes, the most high is my shepherd. I shall not want the Most High makes me lie down in green pastures. The Most High leads me beside still waters. The Most High restores my soul. The Most High guides me along the path of righteousness for the Most High's namesake. Even though I walk through the shally, battle of the shadow, <laughs> even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me your rod and your staff come for me you prepare table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and mercy will pursue me and hunt me down for all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the most high forever and ever and so it shall be, and so it is. Okay? Oh, and I have this cool money magnet journal. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. I just write all my manifestations in here. Um, I write all my gratitude. Uh, sometimes I plan my finances. I plan my post. Anything that I, any ideas that I have or anything that I feel is related to bringing money into me or me being in alignment with the vibration of money right your cup runneth over so let's get into this today i feel a really calm energy today like i feel like you're the calm in the storm like you're the eye of the storm you became the storm that's what i'm hearing you became the storm and when your enemies came to you like a flood the most high lifted a standard against them Woo. speaking to me right now already so let's get into this most high the trilogy 
the most high you guys know if you watch my channel i believe that the holy trinity is the mother the father and the child and or children see the two swords somebody has been at odds with you and that is about to stop because they're not they're not fighting you they're fighting the most high and i always noticed this since i've got this deck one man has pants on the other one has fins and scaly legs right somebody has been at odds and y'all just been going at it i'm talking about for years this is like mother-in-law energy and this is mother-in-law energy for sure mm. that is very specific that is somebody specific but it could be um it could it's only energy it could be a feminine energy but i'm getting a masculine energy it doesn't matter but i'm getting definitely mother-in-law energy and she just does not want to see her child win always at odds with her child mm. like maybe the child like it's like wanted to go to school for art but they wanted you to go to school for law or be a doctor or something like mm. see wanted you to struggle like they did <laughs> But you kept your composure and you went maybe you're an artist and they stopped talking to you right or you want to be a content creator and they stopped talking to you because or they kicked you out of your house because you weren't making any money and now you like blew up and went viral or something your cup runs over and now they're in regret now they're sad and they don't got nobody to cling to because you have no mercy the way they treated you is like you forgave but you're not and you can even be cordial i'm not feeling any bitterment or any bitterness or resentment from your um side collective they're just in such regret but like sometimes when people cross that line and they show you who they are and you just can't it's just you just can't like you forgive but there's no forgetting how they made you feel you don't want to share with them see because they broke your heart you were a, they broke your heart when you were a child see and this little kid with the tail grew up and became this person but you broke their heart. This, yep. And now they found somebody who believes in them and they can't take it. Because it's like, it's like if your parents kept you in a box, like, oh, you know, that's bad. Or like, you know, for example, somebody grew up in a very religious household and you know you know tarot was the devil and and this and that and the third and or like crystals were the devil and or just everything movies were the devil everything was the devil however you grew up and you found out that it's not right and that actually religious constraint and you're going to hell for you know farting is actually the devil not the other way around which everybody's entitled to their own belief system and everybody's entitled to their own like you know choices and everybody's on their own spiritual journey but you cannot think for other people you cannot have another person's experience they might be clinging on to that experience because that is what works for them it's not necessarily what's going to work for you right and now that you're pursuing your art or you're pursuing whatever it is that you feel they want to like disown you and they made you feel bad and they told you 
you know, you're not gonna... They just... Giving you the evil eye... Right? Hmm. These mermaids do... See? You did nice. You kept your composure. And you moved on. You stopped arguing with these people. And you just focused on your calling. And now you're standing in your power. Stone cold. You're not bitter. She don't look bitter. She just looks emotionless. Like you can't move her. Very stoic. See? And now they're having a tower moment. It's like, oh, your Reiki was the devil. But now you they want you to do Reiki on them to help them heal from cancer or something. Because they and they stabbed you in the back. Was talking about you. Was making fun of you. Everybody. And you went and you picked up your sword. This is oh, there's two cards. <laughs> Boy, oh my god, I love you, mermaid cards. I love these mermaid cards so much, y'all. Do you see this? This is he here, little boy. Here, he sees his own future now. You can, you can fight your own battles because you picked up your sword. And the most high, the rod and the staff comforts you. And the rod and the staff talks about the mother and the father. Because there's a tradition where, I'm not sure what tribe it is in Africa, but there's a tradition where your mother or your, like, your parents, one is on the rod and one is on the staff, and you have to memorize both sides of the family and they're carved in one is carved into the rod and one is carved into the staff and you see that goes back to what i said the holy trinity the mother the father and the child and that becomes three every time you have a child it is three because like i said i have four kids right and i'm a mother to each of them i'm not their mom collectively they are not they yes they are my children but i see them as individuals if one kid likes basketball, the other one likes video games, the other one likes, uh, you know, working out, not necessarily competitive sports, and the other one just does likes is just on a whole nother level of what they like and don't like. They're not even into that kind of stuff, you know? So you're every time you make a child you become it becomes the third or if even if you have twins it's really only three right and it's been heavy heavy twin energy and you know what i found out recently right my second son when i had him like how do i explain this like a whole like I'm, get, I, I'm trying to find the words, like a whole, like, okay, those, the baby's in the amniotic, amniotic sac, I think I'm saying that right, and an amniotic sac came out and it was empty, and it splashed, right, and then, he, then he came out, so this whole time we were confused, because it's like, aren't the babies supposed to be inside the sac when they come out, right, so recently when I had my fourth child, the nurse told me that every you know very very seldom it's like one in a million or one in a billion something crazy like that that you can have two sacks and one will be empty and the other one will be full with a baby so <laughs> and what's crazy is my son my my second one he always feels like he has a twin see and then the two of cups so it's coming out in pairs everything is coming out in pairs we got two pairs in here this pair this pair the temperance is a pair but this tower moment i'm being called to pick up another deck it, there's a lot of people who watch who are gonna see this like oh wow like oh shit like Ooh, we shouldn't have messed with her or him but do not do not see twin again emperor and the emperor it's <laughs> so oh lord look at that <laughs> mother <laughs> what, what did i just say 
new beginnings because they were foolish. So you're and now you're having a new beginning and you're leaving them behind through the depths of the ocean and the depths of the ocean and the depths of the they are going to be as far removed from you as the depth of the ocean poverty that generational curse all that stuff all that mumbo jumbo is going to be all behind you you broke the curse see because you were seeking look the, the hermits under there you were seeking the light you found the light and they over there gossiping and talking mess. And it doesn't even matter because they broke your heart. It doesn't even matter. They don't mean nothing to you. And you're ready to pick up your sword and fight. Look how beautiful. See, they keep coming. Man, look. King of Swords, cold. Cause look. Look. Man. Let me stop this because I'm being called. The dragons want to talk. Dragon time. Dragon Tales, wasn't that about twins? Jennifer Lopez twins? She's the one who made it after her twins. This really is the icing on the cake for me. I could really stop right here, but let me get some clarification on this. I this you know, this is really not making sense. Look, the lovers is already at the bottom of the deck again. The lovers is right here. Let me go ahead and and temperance look at oh my god and queen of swords look at look look at that and the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck again because they broke your heart when you were a kid i'm trying to tell you bro these people are not no these people are not your tribe they were not your tribe i'm hearing they were karmic family oof fucking assholes i'm sorry for i'm not sorry for cursing Oh, and to go back and and go back to the tarot part about the religion. Sorry, I'm trying to backtrack here because it's all energy is all over the place. You must have your mind really scattered about it. Um, Page of Wands. The t see, and I was going to say the Bible. That looks like a Bible right there. But the tarot was the first Bible, right? Before there was words, there was pictures. So the Torah comes from the tarot and so does the word truth and so does the word church and on this house i will build my rock peter the emperor again lord And as a per from a personal experience, somebody told me that I suck as a tarot reader and I'm just wrong all the time. Look, that was the devil. <laughs> that it was the devil. Look, three of swords right there. I could pair, literally pair these up. Look, ten of cups. Your cups are going to run run it over. It's going to be ten times. They, man, they tried so... And then when you... They, when they when you started to be right about stuff and when you started to get into your flow they tried to send 10 things your way i'm hearing they got 10 chances the most high the holy trinity gave them 10 chances to not do that stuff i'm hearing 10 moon cycles or 10 years or something like that 10 I'm hearing 10 years of slave they like like mf and layman with leah and rachel they tricked you. They're like, oh, if you do this, I'll give you that. If you do this, I'll give you that. If you do this, I'll give you that. Or they tried to kept, they ch kept changing the goalposts. And you kept trying, you weren't even trying to people please. You were just like, oh, okay, like, like, it's not even, okay, I'll do that for you. But they made, they came and they were like in this trickster energy. But I'm hearing that was not a good idea because now here comes the devil to trick them. Somebody has to pay the piper, and you don't owe the piper anything, and like, you don't owe the piper anything, because you're not the one who made the deal. They made the deal, and and I'm hearing the devil was even like, are you sure about that? Are you sure you want to do that to this person? Because this person doesn't show up on my radar at all. They don't, see, pay, look, boy, look, page of cups. They don't show up on my radar at all. Like, they don't ask for this stuff. As a matter of fact, it's like Job. They, and it's even more than Job because in Job, in the Bible, in, when Job, like, 
the devil went to the most high and was like, oh, I bet if, if, if you take away what everything they have, um, they won't worship you. And the most high was like, okay, like, I bet they do. You know what I mean? So it wasn't even the devil this time. The devil was even like, bro, I've learned this lesson. Revelation right there. The devil was like, I learned this lesson with Job. Don't do that to them because you're going to be that one who ends up paying. And they didn't listen and was like, you know, and the devil was like, all right, fine. I'll show you, I will show you how to go after this person, but don't put me in the middle of this because this is not me. This is all on your own doing. This was all on their own doing. They were warned. Let me see. Look at, I don't even want to take all these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The hanging man. Or the hanging dragon, I should say. See, they hung themselves out to dry. Because here comes the queen of wands, because they were nasty and bitter. The seven of wands, look at them. Because the set, they tried to break all your cups. The three of wands, they got two other people in on it. Here's the empress again. You're the empress. And the world is in your hands. Now, they're all messed up. Look at that. Look at that dragon house holding his head like that because they don't know what to do and they know somebody got to pay the piper. And look, the three of cups. Because mm, it was three people who were continuously and constantly getting together to do this to you. Like, oh, it's the new moon. Oh, it's the holiday. Oh, we got to do it. It's the summer solstice. We got to do it. And look, three cards came out. And this, the eight of cups, six of swords, five of cups, and then the chariot. Somebody's going to get arrested. They did something that's going to get them arrested. I don't know if it was to you or if it, look, two of cups came out again. Ten of coins in reverse. All their money is going to fall onto you. The king of cups, because they were foolish, look. All the cards are in your hands. All the cards are in your hands now. <sighs> this energy is like, it's, it's, you know what? This energy is actually relieving. It's relieving because it's like, you don't know, like you're so in your own, let me get this deck, oh my God, it's deck. You're so into your own energy and to your art and like, oh man, like you're so immersed in what you're trying to do. You're looking down and maybe this is your lesson to, you know, kind of look around at times. See, King of Swords came out right away when I split the deck, the bottom of the deck. You're so immersed in your art that, oh, my flash just went out. That's okay though. I'm picking these up because the dragons don't like to be involved with other. I'm hearing about a, there's such a loyalty here. Somebody's coming to you that's gonna be so loyal. I'm hearing they went to the wrong person because the person is so is like gonna be blindedly loyal to you. <sighs> and now you're in your goddess, your god energy. Right? The goddess is behind you. The goddess is with you. I'm hearing the goddess is going to... You know, like a mother. They're going to chastise them, but... And the devil's going to be like, I told you so. Heavy Saturn energy. Heavy Saturn. I told you so. I keep hearing, I told you not not to, I told you not to, I told you not to, you should have known when, when you try, I'm hearing they tried to poison you and you didn't die and then that person was like, I'm not doing this again. They went to go to a shaman and the shaman was like, I can't, this person saw me, they tried to astral project in your room, the shaman, and the shaman was like, they saw me in their room, I'm not doing this to them. 
or they try to um, send demons your way and the demons were like, I can't do anything to them because they have authority over me. And then they thought you were, see, three people. They th Five of cups. Boy, if you go back, you will see these cards already done came out. And look, I put the other two away. It's still the same energy. They tried it. Look, an old person, mother-in-law energy. And two younger ones. And they're in this May. Over here in Five of Cups energy. They should not have done that. Why did they do... Like, why did they do that for? They should not... It's not even... You know what? We gotta stop asking why. That's what I just heard. Because that's wisdom. Stop asking why. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no why. Some things you're just not gonna know. Like the Ten of Swords. You're not gonna know why they were stabbing you in the back. That's just who they are. They would have did it to anybody. They do it to everybody. And it's like you was working, working, working. Now you're looking up and you're just like, wait a minute. Like the whole time I'm working, they was they was literally you're sitting there working and you're so involved in your work that you don't feel the swords going in your bag. It was some sharp swords. Like I'm hearing pres pres precision. They've been, girl, child, they've had the same doll. <laughs> I'm hearing they've had the same voodoo doll. <laughs> the voodoo doll is so destroyed. And I'm hearing they buried it somewhere where they can't get back to. Because now they're trying to undo it. See? And you over here standing over there with the five, like... What the heck? Where did all these swords come from? Like, who's... you looking over there at them like, where did, where did these swords even come from? Why are you... Why did you even do that? Why did you even do that? Let's stop asking why. Here, stop asking why. Because you're the queen of swords. Again, came out again. Mm. See the God they called on a God. I'm here. Rihanna movement. Their their movement is stopping. Whatever they have, and you're gonna have balance in your life. And your strength. Whatever they movement they had going on against you, that doll, they're trying to find that <laughs> they're trying to dig up that doll. They try to bury it. But now, <laughs> that doll is growing into discord in the life. See, because you have the sword. The Ace of Swords again came out. And this has an Ankh right there. The key to life. And then at the top it has Taurus. See, Taurus energy and the pyramids in the back. Princess of Cups, see your cup runneth over. Now you, I'm drinking coffee right now. I'm drinking mm. long, pretty hair. They're jealous of your hair. Wow, really? The sun card, see now <laughs> they got together. Them three got together, right? Well, and look, the Queen of Pentacles, you about to be so set when they go to jail. The Zor Zoria. The sun, but if look at them real good, look at them, they looking like we so proud of you, girl. We so proud of you, girl. We so proud of you, girl, for keeping your composure. See, they them three got together, and your ancestors were just watching and watching and watching, and now your three ancestors are coming with the power of the sun. See that horse riding in the background. It's like almost like Hermes or something. Why she why, is she dabbing on them? She's dabbing on them. Wow, I love these cards, too. Oh, yeah. This one is dabbing. The this one is dabbing. This one has her arms around the other two, and then this one has one arm up and one arm down. I never noticed that before. Well, I I rarely use this deck. I just feel like it's very powerful. Look, and it opened right to that page right here. 
let's see the russian myth in russian mythology the three zoraya before i finish these are your grandmothers it's a grand it's your one of your grand it's it's the mother-in-law of the mother-in-law that's coming out from the grave to bother her now she was bothering you but she likes you or mas take that masculine feminine energy right and so I'm hearing nobody likes a Jezebel. And then you have Ahab is mad at you, right? Then you have your grandmother um, on your maternal side and paternal side, or grandmothers, like going backwards, right? 14 generations back. So in Russian mythology, the three Zoria are goddesses, Attendance to the sun god as well as bringing warmth and light to the world the sun represents brightness of intellect creativity and fertility mission meanings an expansive life-affirming energy creativity relationships with children fertility love masculine or yang energy you see I didn't even read it y'all seeing what I said I didn't even read it and you see the same cards keep coming out all right okay here last one see they're gonna be another sacrifice mm, they're gonna be oppressed because they have to give the sacrifice now let's read that they have to give the sacrifice now because they tried to sacrifice they tried to sacrifice you to the devil and the devil's like are you sure because you're not going to be able to do anything are you sure and they're like i know i know i know okay fine the devil's evil because of his age not because of his title boy honored as a holy mother of compassion Quan Yin is one of the most beloved goddesses of China. Instead of allowing herself to enjoy the heavens delight, Quan Yin vowed never to leave the earth until the last human was free from pain, sacrificing herself for the greater good of all. A surrender to the higher principles, higher goals, self-abnegation, taking care of others, sacrifice in order to gain wisdom, empathy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to sacrifice it themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the lesson that they're going to have to learn. <sighs> wow. And then oppression. I don't even know if I want to read this one, but I'm going to read it anyways. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, where is it? The wa the wawa wala the wawa lock. During the dream time, the Australian Aboriginal sister goddess, the wawa lock, are swallowed whole by your lunger, the great rainbow serpent, oppressed by darkness in the belly of the serpent. The wawa lock wept until they were reborn from your lunger back into the light. Feeling overwhelmed, oppressed by circumstance or emotions like the wall wall lock, the light has left your life and you are waiting to be released from the darkness. They're going to wait a long time in the dark. Let them grope in the noonday as in the night. Their way will be through dark and slippery places. <sighs> Y'all, that and see that, okay, that's how you can quote the Bible when you do tarot because the Bible comes from the tarot. Y'all don't hear me though. Let me put these back. These goddesses ain't playing with nobody. Let me see what the what Ganesha want to whisper to y'all today. I'm gonna do a spread here to five. It's called a horseshoe spread. Okay. Use this spread to help you discern what your next step is and what obstacles might be in your way. All right. So we're gonna talk about you now. We're going to talk about you now. So what I'm going to do is shuffle. Shuffle. 
shuffle. Then I'm going to spread it out. And I'm going to pick five cards. One, random cards. Not random. Three. Let me move these out of the way. Four. Five. Okay. My daughter's waking up, so. Openness. Be open. So let's see here what the first card is. Where are you now? Okay. Use the spread to discern what your next step is. Okay, so where are you now? You're on consecration. I don't really know what that means, so let's just look it up. Nine, utilize the tools, resources, and skills available to you. Start where you are. Now, that's what you did. That's the energy that you were in. You were looking down, and you were in your stuff, and you didn't even notice the rats eating your... Mm eating your cheese so that's where you are now you're noticing right so what is your next step your innocence because you're not going to jail <laughs> they are or spiritual jail, physical jail. I mean, I saw somebody going away in handcuffs, though. The simplest gestures of love and respect can prevail over even the toughest of hearts. Like I said, you forgive. You're not in this bitterness energy, but you're like, okay, I won the lottery, and I don't got to be around you no more. So I'm not going to be around you no more. I hear freedom from, freedom from a narcissist. Like, you're really going to be able to completely sever that cord or just, like, remove it from your heart like it was like it pierced your heart and it was like they keep tugging on it and then every time they tugged on it, it you try to get away but it would only go you would only go so far and it will tug you back it's not gonna happen no more that that it's like somebody removing like one of those spears from a shark or removing a spear from a whale's fin or something it wasn't letting you swim mm. <sighs> so that was your next step or task was number two Number three is your obstacles, reflection. You're, you, you're, you're looking back on past situations and you're sitting there thinking like, why? Stop asking why. Let's see what reflection says in the book though. But I'm hearing stop asking why, move forward. Honor the wisdom within yourself. Yeah, move forward. You already know. You don't have this, like you already know, for example, somebody cheated on you, you already know they're a cheater. Don't expect them to not cheat. That's it. That's what they're going to do. If they're acting the same, keep that same energy. Right? Let them be on their way. You're going to have the opportunity because you've been working on yourself. You're going to have the opportunity to move away from this situation. Right? So, number four. What are your strengths and resources? Clear your energy. Boy. You can clear you cleared your energy of this person of this of this you cleared your energy of this. Let me go even further and read what it says here. You cleared your energy of this. Move through your fears to bring on change. You don't have to be afraid. So what if they're going out? They may be going out to go cheat on you. They may be really going to do what they said they was gonna do. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Let it go. Stop dwelling in it. That's what's holding you back. And number five, new focus or outcome. Surrender. 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 Surrender to everything that the universe has. So you can sit there and you can receive the abundance and the wealth and the opportunities that are coming to you. Like, just surrender. Just surrender. That's it. I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or don't. I love you anyways. I do this so that it can help anybody, so that it can reach everybody. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. And don't forget to be kind because you don't know what everybody is going through. I love you. I send you love. I send you light. And I hope that you're able to see clearly. May the Most High be with you. Let it be.